Well, there's the two escape wheels I just finished making, and they've been mounted onto an arbor uh, that I made, and now they're a compound gear. Uh, but before we get into the making of this gear, uh, let me show you a few things that I've accomplished on this clock uh, between now and the last video. Okay, see, this is a center wheel I built, and uh, the pinion gear that was the subject of the last video. But as soon as that video, I finished with that video, I had everything all set up, so I made uh, two more pinion gears. This lantern pinion is made to go into the center wheel. It snaps right into position there. And uh, we'll be installing that in there. And this smaller one, this is going to be used on the escape wheel. Uh, it's a little bit smaller, but that'll be on the arbor with the escape wheel. Here we are coming back to the center wheel. And that lantern pinion just snaps in there like that. And I held it with super glue. And then I drilled those three holes there for the screws that will hold it all together. And uh, we'll tap those out right now. We're going to use this uh, ER collet to hold that lantern pinion while we're tapping those holes. That 080 tap is very fine and you got to be careful with it. And this is a good way to hold it. So let's get that into position. Now that tap is so small that I built a little hockey puck here and the hockey puck just uh, set screw holds it onto the tap and it gives me better control over uh, the tapping process uh, that we're going to be doing here. And there we go, we'll start the tapping out here. We've got a little bit of a lubricant there. That hockey puck makes it nice and easy to get a good feel for that tap and not break it. Uh, a nice little uh, way to do fine taps like this 080. This is a shop made bull bull's foot file that I made. It's a uh, number two uh, cross, cross cut file uh, put into a block uh, and it's uh, uh, one thou of an inch below the block. And the block's highly polished. Uh, and I'm just gonna put a little couple of drops of oil on here just so uh, but what it'll do, it'll take that uh, center, uh, it'll take the arbor coming through the hole there and it'll make it a uniform uh, height. Uh, I've got a couple of them going through there. This is not normally what I use the bull's foot file for, but it, uh, it'll come in handy today. Okay, now we're going to just use this drill press to open these holes up uh, to a, a, a larger uh, size uh, than the uh, size for the tap. Uh, so that we can uh, uh, put this uh, uh, gear all together now. And there, I got two of the screws in. I'm just putting the third one in now. And then that'll uh, uh, finish off this wheel so we can call the center wheel ready to go. Uh, uh, but there you go, There's that's tighten them all up good here. And there we go, there's the center wheel done. All right, so I uh, made this cutter, uh, and this is uh, for the third wheel. And then I'd cut the third wheel, and I did it the same way I did the center wheel, so I didn't make a video of it or anything like that. But uh, now we're ready to move on, and uh, we'll start, uh, uh, let's start getting ready to make those escape wheels. Okay, there's a drawing from uh, W.R. Smith's How to Make a Grasshopper Clock. This is the cutter we need to make the large escape wheel. And uh, you'll see it's made out of round rod and then hardened. Um, I've uh, changed that. I'm going to use uh, high speed steel. And in order to do that, I need to make a drawing of this uh, cutter shape uh, so that I can get my high speed steel down to the correct size. And so, uh, uh, let's go ahead over to the drafting table. Okay, here we are at the drafting table. And uh, we'll draw the circle for the arc on the cutter. And now we're going to mark the cutter off. It's a quarter inch cutter. And then there's a, there's a couple of reliefs down at the bottom there. Put the lines in for those. And now we'll give it a five degree. And there's your five degree relief on the front. And then there's a 15 re degree relief on the bottom. So let's go ahead and set that 15 degree up. 
And there we go. There's the 15 degree at the bottom. All right, now we're down at the grinding table in the cellar, and that's my wooden jig for making the eight, setting the table for an eight degree relief. We're going to cut this, uh, uh, make this cutter with an eight degree relief. And I've already done the uh, uh, the uh, uh, arc part, so now we're just doing the back side. We're going to put in that uh, little 32nd of an inch relief. And then by putting it side of a reel, well, I can see a little better there. We got it that time. So now let's just put a little bit of a, we, we need a, uh, an end here and we need to measure it for the right size. Okay, so now we're back upstairs again with this. And we're we'll back to the drawing and set it into place. And uh, yeah, that looks like it's gonna do it. Okay, gear cutter's ready. Now let's go ahead and start making that gear blank. For this one, we're going to use an oak arbor and it's going to, it's already screwed to a face plate and uh, we'll just face off the edges here uh, because of that big uh, 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 single point cutter we're going to be using we're going to be cutting full depth we really need to hold it tightly so this is the best way to do it and now we're bringing down the uh, OD to the size that we need for our OD on this uh, thing there we go and we'll center drill it here and then use a drill bit to get in a little bit deeper for the uh, uh, center of the, that I'm going to be putting in there but there we go a little bit of boring just get that last thou off of there and let's get that center in there nicely there that fits good okay We've got the lathe set up the same way we did uh, before, and now we've got it the bit centered. But now we need to put our 15 degree uh, undercut in there. And so there we go, I'm putting that in there now. And now we're pretty much ready to start. And I'm checking for the depth. I'm looking on the top of the tooth there for that blue, just so there's just a whisper of that blue. If you want to know more about how I do the gear cutting on this Sherline, uh, make sure to uh, take a look at the uh, uh, previous video that I made on uh, gear cutting, uh, uh, cutting the gear, and it gives you a lot more information. I won't repeat it all here, but here we go. We're getting to the end, and uh, let's take a look at this thing. And there's the finished uh, tooth formation on the large of the two uh, escape wheels. Now we're going to get over to the small escape wheel. Start with this drawing by W.R. Smith. And uh, it's same idea of a, it's a round one. We're going to make it with high speed steel. So let's go over to the drafting table. And you'll notice that the uh, uh, arc for this one is a lot bigger than the other one. And uh, you're going to see when I get into drawing uh, the angles, the 5 degree relief and the 15 degree relief, so I'm going to make really long lines because a lot of that is uh, so that I can see it better uh, when I actually bring the, uh, the bit up here. And I'm not going to wait, I'm not going to take you down in the cellar to see the bit. I, you saw how I did it. I did the same thing with this one and now I'm checking this one out and it seems to be spot on. So we're, we're ready to go. And uh, here we are back down in the cellar. And you see that that blue section is a little bit big, so we need to make our cut a little bit deeper. And that's what I'm doing now. I'm slowly making the cutter deeper each time until I get to the depth that I want. And you'll see that I'm using a super glue arbor this time, but it's got a big washer on the front to hold it all in place. Uh, but uh, this cut, even though it's to full depth, uh, is much smaller cut than the other one. So I thought the super glue arbor was uh, uh, proper for this one. Uh, with the washer on the front, of course. Uh, but now we're coming up on to the end here, and uh, we'll get a look and see how it came out. And yeah, there's the final cut. And there's a good look at the tooth formation on this one. Yeah. All right, now we're going to start working on... Uh, uh, crossing the wheel, so we're back at the drafting table. We're gonna have to make a uh, uh, a little template here. So I've uh, taped down a piece of uh, uh, brass uh, with some dicom on it and transferring it over. 
now we're down uh, we're back upstairs and I'm using my uh, uh, crossing jig here and we're holding it the very tip of that tooth has to match with the very tip right across here this is a 60 tooth gear so we want to be right on that center line that's very important that those tips are right on the center line okay so we're going to make this a I'm going to make it a five uh, crossing wheel so we'll just count out the tooth mark it and then we'll make it the other one the same exact way right through the dead center with the tips of the wheels and there they are so there's all five of those and we'll pull out that center marker and put a smaller one in so now we this is our little piece of brass that we just made and now we'll make our little lines here for that and that'll uh, give us our basic look at it and then that template there I use that for your for my arcs but very uh, loosely uh, I'll be doing the arcs mostly by hand so there's the two wheels and they're ready now for crossing uh, here's the large one it's in the piercing saw it's in my piercing saw setup and I'm using it now to cut it out um, I did a, a video on uh, crossing out the wheels already, so I'm not going to get into it uh, uh, really in detail here, but just to show you that I did it the exact same way as I did the other crossing outs. And uh, there's uh, uh, nothing to do here, so I won't repeat it again. This is the, uh, the small uh, escape wheel, and I'm filing it, and uh, I'll be doing the sanding and everything, but uh, I did it the same way as I did on the... Uh, a video on crossing the wheel so uh, if you're interested you can go back and watch that one if you haven't seen it already but I did it the exact same way uh, there's nothing new to it and uh, there's a closer look so I'm just getting ready to pull it out and that's pretty much how they come out okay the crossing of the wheels is now completed and so now we'll make that collet uh, to make them into a compound gear We'll turn down this piece of brass down to uh, uh, the diameter of the center hole of the two wheels uh, and then we'll be ready to start drilling. And we'll start the drilling with the center drill here and then open it up with a twist drill. And then this three-sided reamer, if you want to know more about that, I, in the lantern pinion uh, one that I made, there's a good detail of how to make those. Okay, we're back at the crossing jig here and uh, we've got to make uh, the line uh, in there so that uh, uh, we can uh, line the teeth up, the tips of the teeth of the large and the small wheel together. So we're going to put a, a, a line uh, across the tips of the teeth the same way we did before. And just mark them in that blue section there, that's all we need. Uh, we just want to be able to line up the, uh, the tip of the tooth on the small wheel to match the tip of the tooth on the large wheel. And there we go. Once I had them all lined up, now I'm using a little super glue. And the super glue will be capillary action. It'll find its way in there. And then that top piece there, that's actually the washer that goes through the center. Uh, but we get them all held together. Now we'll take them back over to the lathe and we're going to drill them. And I use the PCB drill the same way I did with the lantern pinion video. And I'm just going to make uh, five starter holes here. And uh, then I'm going to switch over to a very small, I think it's a number 53 bit, uh, to drill the holes. Uh, but there it is, there's the 53. Now I've got to go through four pieces of brass, and it's going to, the total depth is 5 eighths of an inch. So it's a very slow, uh, arduous process of uh, tap drilling in there without breaking the tap. Now you'll see I put a piece of uh, brass wire through there, <coughs> through one of the holes, because when that comes off of there, uh, those holes that they have the brass wire through them will be marked so that they all stay uh, uh, correct. And there's the arbor, and now we're just doing the final tapping on the arbor uh, with the 080 tap again. Uh, I didn't have a collet to hold it, but so I got a small vise holding it this time. And there's the finished wheel. And it's, everything's all lined up. It needs a little, it'll still get a final polish, but uh, for now it's done. And I want to thank you all for watching. And uh, if you're enjoying this build, the next one I'm going to be doing, I'll be working on the Great Wheel and the Fusey. And uh, uh, I'll see, I hope to see you then. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching.